Medium to large animal armatures, how do we do this? Let's find out. Hey, it's Pam Duffy and I help you craft your career with marketing videos and art and craft tutorials every week. And today it's a Thursday, so it must be another needle felting tutorial. If this is something you're interested in, then please don't forget to come back every Thursday. So the base of a good sculpture can be a decent armature and these can be quite tricky. If you haven't already looked, check out in the cards where I did, where I showed you the armatures that I use for my f small sculptures. But when we go to a bit of a larger size, when it's getting up to five inches and larger, then I need a bit of a different armature for that. Now there's lots of different armature tutorials on the internet and over the years I've used many different types. You'll see in my dragon tutorial that I use a completely different armature just for the size of that basically because the double wrapping of wire down from the head down to the legs the amount of extra wire I would be needing for that starts to become unwieldy so it's better for me just to do the full head body tail all in the one piece and add the others extra but for the four five six seven eight inch sculptures then this is a really good anatomically useful <laughs> um, armature that I use. So when I was looking at different tutorials out there for armatures there's some really great ones but I've always found I've always struggled with the actual shoulder arrangement just always looking too skinny and kind of stuck on and I had to spend a lot of time building up the shoulder and it just didn't seem quite right. So what I did so what I did was I got myself a skeleton image from the internet of a dog and I noticed something that nobody seems to be doing in their armatures and this is bearing in mind the shoulder assembly first comes forward and then backwards and then out to the leg past the past the rib cage and so I attempted this and what I find I don't know how well it's going to show up but when you're wrapping this gives you a really nice meaty shoulder assembly and you can adapt it for the structure of the animal if they have more prominent shoulders or more laid back shoulders depending on the breed but this really actually helps build up the animal so let's have a look at how I made this
So you'll have noticed this wee guy isn't the guy in the tutorial. He's actually a Chinese crested dog that I made and you'll see the full video of him in the coming weeks. But can anyone guess what he's going to be yet? I hope to have him finished in the next couple of days. So if you do make any animal sculptures using my armature, please pop over to Pam's Felting Friends on Facebook and let us have a look. I'd love to see your work. Don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe. Come back every Thursday for needle felting tutorials. And thank you so much for joining me.